How are we doing today? We are on our way to Selhurst Park to see Crystal Palace versus Man City. Am I confident? Nope. Are we going to see a win? Nope. Are we going to get thrashed? That's a guarantee. I'm going to go for a 5-0 win to Man City. I think we're just going to get absolutely mullered tonight. We're not playing well, obviously. Well, that is obvious with one win in 14, 10, sorry, nine games without a win in the Premier League. It's not looking good. Things are looking doom and gloom at Selhurst Park. Look, I just want to see some spark and response from the players. I want the fans to actually show up as well today. You know, if things aren't going well, Listen, the fans will let the players and Vieira know. And yeah, um, if we lose today, they'll probably sack Patrick Vieira maybe tomorrow or they'll probably wait after the Brighton game potentially. So it's going to be a long one. Oh boy, it's going to be a long one. <laughs> So just waiting by the car park right now and lineups are in. I don't really know about it. It's kind of 50-50 for me thinking about it. So goal guy back four, uh, Mitchell, Anderson, Gay, right back Nathaniel Klein. In midfield we've got um, Schlupp and Lakonga and Luca as captain of the CDM. And up front we've got Elise Ayer as a striker by himself and Zahar on the left. I want to see Edward starting. I would have played Ayer as a number eight. Drop Schlupp. And then started Edward up front. Just makes no sense. Not optimistic at all. Still think we're going to get Hammers 5 0 because I've seen C. They've got British, Silver, and Ireland and all sorts up front who are going to cause us mayhem and help. <laughs> What are we going to do with it? Come on. Oh, we don't even know to pass it to. Flip it now. Oh, lost it. No, we haven't. We got it. We got the ball. Are you? Quickly. Oh, God. Early on, I just missed an open goal from where I was. Thought it was in, it was Ake on the wing. Squared it to him in the box. And he blazes it over. Thought it was in, but hey, got away everyone there. Luca already on the yellow. It was a bad tackle for the first one. He wasn't booked. The ref played on. Does it a second time, stupidly, he gets booked. I mean, that was any other ref. They probably could have given him two yellows to send him off. I mean, it came from us mucking around at the back and giving the ball away. Suicide football, man. Nearly cost us big time, we're just sitting here waiting for them to score. We're sitting so deep and they're dominating us for fun right now. Come on Michael, I want to see a good delivery man, come on. Whip it in with power. Not bad, you know. Oh, come on! No, no. Boots towards Harland and at the ref especially. Yeah, there you go. Been all right, not really. It was all Man City. Should be like one or two in the up to be fair. Half time, nil nil again. It's been not the best, but we're still hanging in there. You know, it's nil nil. I'm quiet for the second half, and I've got the four of them on the bench. Mares, I mean. So we're not expected to win, but I mean, I guess the best option would be for us to maybe lose one or two and we'll not get hammered. I don't think we'll lose it 5 0. Unless it went seriously wrong in the second half, like the Spurs game at home. So, yeah, but it's still a long way to go. The only players we've got that can come on and maybe do sign is Edward and Eze on their day, but they both have been rubbish recently. I mean, what are they going to do against Man City? I mean, you can't even pass like two, two passes between us now, you know what I mean? No shots on goal again. I mean, I mean, could it get any better? I don't know, it's a big question. So I'm a little worried, but at the same time, if we hang in there, who knows what could happen.
and a man are on for Luke Canal. No shot on goal, no shot from us at all. Still on Man City, really. The line's going off a ward. I mean, unless he's injured, I don't see what's the point of that. But, I mean, it's not like he's taken flipping Luca off a ward or, I don't know, are you off a ward or something? Who knows? It's wards versus appearance yeah, in nearly a month for that as well. He's got to get Edouard and Eze on though. We need some pace and a bit of spark up front because we've got nothing going forward. Will from the likes of Ayu have been poor. At least he's been alright, but not good enough at all. a blatant pen but I mean typical pilots making eyes of ourselves the referee thinking he's special shut up and just get him in a flipping thing down oh fabulous man Broiler's coming on now. Well, I referee, you mug. 12 minutes to go. That was. Oh, they're in again, they're in again. Oh, God. Offside anyway, offside. He brings Edward and Eddie on now. Takes Ivan Schlupov after we go a goal down. After us trying to park the bus. I mean, he's out of his depth. This is absolutely ridiculous, man. Stupid. The empty seats are starting to descend. It's pretty much done. City have got this in the bag. No goals, no shots on target. I mean, late substitutions. After we go a goal down, then we try and get at them. I mean, it's not hard. Oh. That's so much further than 10 Same yards. Old palace, man. Same old. One minute fifteen. Oh, bloody hell, man. Next home game is until the 1st of April against Leicester. Um, look around, despair, sadness, flat. That's, what, that's one word to describe this club right now. Simply not good enough. I mean, we lost one there. It wasn't a final defeat, but a loss is still a loss. Like I said, no goals, no shot on goal. I mean, I don't care if it's Man City, I don't care if it's Barcelona, I don't care if it's the Brazil national team. I want to see a bit more when it comes to attacking and we just weren't good enough today, man. So, all I'm saying is, we lose to Brighton, Vieira's got to go. As much as I want him out now, we're not going to sack him after a 1-0 defeat to City. But they'll sack him if we lose to Brighton, badly. So, that's all I can say. See you then, at the Amex. For that game, I'll be there. Another bad day in the office. Terrible.